An altercation on New Year's Eve with Bakersfield police regarding a seatbelt violation is being investigated. Eyewitness News reporter Lena Folk joins us live now with that story. Lena. Hi, Michael and Rochelle. I'm outside the Bakersfield Police Department where police say they are investigating the arrest of Dante Heath. Meanwhile, Dante Heath's attorney spoke about the incident for the first time today. Since it's law enforcement, they seem to play by a different set of rules. Stay Focus Ministries pastor Dante Heath has been in an arm sling for the past week. Following an altercation with Bakersfield police that some are saying is an act of excessive force. Here, I'm going to get out. Lie on here and I'll get out. Lie on here and I'll get out. Heath was stopped in a parking lot New Year's Eve after police claim he was not wearing a seatbelt. However, Heath claims he had a seatbelt on and streamed the interaction on Facebook Live. Are you going to break my window? Officers tell Heath to get out of the vehicle, he but Heath refuses, claiming there is no okay. reasonable cause. The interaction escalates with police breaking Heath's window. Heath is then quickly taken out of the car and put onto the ground by officer. Heath says he was beaten to the ground, claiming to have suffered a broken elbow and a fractured rib. Heath's legal team says BPD's motivation to pull Heath over stems from biases and speaks to a larger pattern of abuse. Racial profiling is what it is. There's no other explanation video quickly spreading on social media with others commenting saying they've had a similar thing happen to them in which BPD has used an excessive amount of force. Eyewitness News also spoke with Bakersfield police in which they say an investigation to determine if the use of force was appropriate is taking place. I, I don't have any clarity about when the seatbelt was put on. Just from looking at the video it appears that there's some back and forth and, and uh, differences of, of opinions and perspectives about when, when that occurred. BPD also said they plan on investigating if racial profiling played a factor. So would I say that a use of force is typical for a seatbelt violation? No. But what I say is, is a use of force typical when there's a refusal to comply with commands? Oftentimes, um, a, a use of force can occur. Since the incident, a GoFundMe has been created for Heath. Heath nor his wife, Faith, spoke at the press conference with his legal team claiming the city's attorneys will dissect each word. And we as a community, as a people, should make sure that we do whatever we can in whatever small way to make sure that all the folks in our community are protected and treated the same under the law, regardless of our circumstance, regardless of the color of our skin. Dante Heath's legal team says the next step is filing a government claim, essentially saying they intend to file a lawsuit for excessive force on Dante Heath. The city has 40 days to respond, and if the claim is rejected, Dante Heath's legal team will move forward with the lawsuit. From outside the BPD headquarters in downtown Bakersfield, Lena Folk, Eyewitness News.